Oh, sh <laughs> Yo, you saw that 60? Yo, you saw that 60 frame intro right there? That Dude, this looks so sick, man! Damn, chat! Oh my god! Action slash probably would have been stronger. What? I don't know why I did that. Bro, it looks insane, right, Phil? I'm gonna post the video tomorrow on how to install it, because it this is absolutely insane. Chrono Cross Remastered on PC is out and also on other consoles from PlayStation, Xbox, Switch, etc. It's been very widely known recently that uh, the port itself isn't really up to the standard that we all were hoping for when it comes to a remaster. I've been enjoying it myself. However, there are issues that I cannot deny are a little, uh, a little off-putting. However, modders have our back as always three days ago on april 12th it is the 15th now modders have been going ham and nexus i'll be linking this in the comments below and the description but uh, you can go through here and download and install all of these whichever ones you want these are just very bare minimum stuff but they do have some interesting ones like uh, fps hack to fix and improve the fps which sounds great we're going to be installing that one also but uh, the one that we're going to be mainly focusing on is the Snooty AI Upscale. So what this basically does is the CG cutscenes in the game that were not remastered in any way whatsoever, they get remastered here. I'm going to boot up the game and we're going to see what it looks like. Just to have it in our mind what to expect before we, we change it, right? We're going to look at it together and see exactly what the differences are like. I love it so much. When I first saw this, it gave me Legend of Dragoon vibes. Just the way the colors... Just the way the colors are on the screen, right? <clears throat> oh, thank you for confirming that, Legion. I feel much better about leaving next week now. <laughs> was it? Did people say... I saw people were saying that only the intro was uh, upscaled. So you know what we'll do? Uh, we can trigger a CGI cutscene at Opasa Beach. We're going to head over there and, and uh, trigger that scene, and then we'll uh, switch over and check it out. I'll raise the volume for y'all. Y'all know we we always vibe to this. <laughs> da, 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 da. Hugo, thank you for the sub, man. You know, I love me some Square Enix intros, man. All right, so let's uh, boot up our save file. So we just saw that one. We can trigger a CGI scene over here. Yeah, you see how like pixely that is right there? <laughs> a little, little creepy ass smile. 
the mod we're going to install is supposedly supposed to fix that. And uh, let's see how that looks now. I'm going to link this in the description below. But this is the direct link to bring you to the Chrono Cross Radical Dreamers Edition mods to install on PC. What we're going to be installing is the snooty AI upscale created by Wet Squirrel. So actually for this mod, guys, it'll be easier if you install 7-Zip. Uh, I will link this in the description also. Uh, be sure to head over to 7-Zip.org or just click the link in the description and download whichever one is built for your system. I'm using the 64-bit. But basically, this mod is pretty simple to install. You're going to unzip the movie.7-zip uh, file into the uh, directory where Chrono Cross is. Rename your movie DAT to movie DAT backup just in case. Uh, so we'll do that real quick, just in case if the game does mess up. D drive, locate where your game is locate, uh, installed. Uh, Steam apps, common, Chrono Cross, data. This is our movie. So I'm gonna take that, holy shit, that's a gig. Take that and I'm gonna just, I'm gonna put it here. So we have that and then now you're gonna take the movie DAT file that you just downloaded and place it in the data folder. So now if you go over to files, guys, this patch is constantly being updated because uh, certain cutscenes don't work and they left them untouched. However, as time goes on, the modder is constantly updating it. So this way you guys will have the, the fully refined version of all the CGI cutscenes and uh, they're including them here. So if you downloaded the old one, all, if you have like the 1.01, all you have to download is the hotfix for 1.02. I have the 1.00, so I have to install this one and that one. However, if you're just now tuning in and you don't have any previous versions of this mod installed, all you have to do is download the latest one, which is on the top of the screen. Right now, it's on version 1.02 at the time of this recording. You just have to click manual and download it slow. Uh, unless you have an account, then you can download it pretty quickly. The slow download will take about an hour if you have fiber connection like I do. It's six gigs and it's only going to get bigger from there. But this version is very, very easy to install. And all you have to do is when it's done, literally open it up in your zip file, whichever one it is you use. And you're going to extract to, you're going to extract the movie.dat file to your D drive or wherever your Chrono Cross is located, Steam apps, common, Chrono Cross, and go into data. Hit OK, and it should be good to go. However, if you do have a previous version like I do and you're trying to update it, I will showcase to you guys how to do that next. And when you install these things, you want to make sure that you hit that subscribe button because only 30% of people who watch and love these videos are currently subscribed. Guys, 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 guys. Final Fantasy and also uh, Square Enix properties have been a little bit disappointing as far as uh, quality support. I can't lie. This channel aims to bring you guys the best when it comes to installing mods and improving your gameplay and as well as uh, performance to enjoy it in the best ways possible. So be sure to subscribe, hit that notification bell so you don't miss out on more because we got all kinds of crazier mods coming out soon. We're only three days into modding Chrono Cross and we already have fixes that Square Enix could not do. Yo, shout outs to the modders. Seriously, shout outs to them. They did a fantastic job. More mods are on their way, and as soon as 60 FPS officially drops, I got you guys covered, and we're gonna be installing that baby ASAP. Looking at it from right here, go to where you downloaded your files. Mine is right here. See, this is the original file, the 1.0 file. We're gonna click on it, and see there's the movie DAT file. So uh, what you can do is you can drag it into it if you want, or you can click Extract to and locate it here. Go into Steam Library, Steam Apps, Common, Chrono Cross. It's in the data folder, so you're going to hit OK. And yes to all. You see, holy shit, the original one, Legion, was 1.3 gigs. And the new one is 6.1 gigs. Oh, my God. <laughs> so yes to all. And uh, now I'm going to install the 1.01, just in case. Uh, there's even a readme for it there. Let's see what the readme says. Go to the same location you install the mod and locate the movie DAT. Right click on the movie DAT, open archive with 7-zip, delete both files. Uh, you'll be able to right click on the movie dot file, click 7-zip, and it says here to click open archive with 7-zips. Go to open archive, and while you're in here, delete both files A8 Hanyo BK. Delete the A08 Hanyo BK2 file, which is this one. So right click, delete. 
and the B08 Hanyo. So the B08 Hanyo, right there. Right click, delete. Okay, and now while we have this open, now we're gonna take the new files that we downloaded, right in here, the hotfix, take both of these, and just drag them into there. You drag it into here, it's gonna ask, are you sure you wanna copy the archive files to this? But yes. And there you go. It has completed. But wait, there's more. There is a second hotfix we got to install as well. So let's go into the hotfix 1.02 and uh, let's go into the readme just in case. So go to the same exact setup. We're going to right click on the file, open archive with 7-zip and delete both, delete both of these files. First file is AO5kid, AO5kid, right click, delete, A15kid is the next one. A15 kid, delete. Right? BK2, yep. Delete that. And now while both of those are deleted, now you can go into your Hotfix 102 and take these two files and drag them into 7-zip. Click on it, apply. All right, so now we have installed the new AI upscaled cutscenes. We installed the 1.01 patch, and we also installed the 1.02 patch, which is the latest one that came out today. So now, uh, this movie dot file used to be 1.3 gigs. Now it's 6.1, holy shit. Now it's been hella AI upscaled, and we're gonna boot up the game and see how it looks. Chat, are you guys ready for this? I think the text got worse. The text looks different, right? I'm looking at it and I'm trying to, I'm trying to remember if it looks different or not. Oh shit. Oh fuck. <laughs> Holy shit. <laughs> Damn, man. Oh, what the fuck? It's looking like Borderlands right now. Wow. The t yeah, so it looks like the text in CGI, because that's what happens when you AI upscale something. Like when I AI upscale my uh, thumbnails, I have to do it without the text on it because when you AI upscale for whatever reason fonts, it does look weird. But holy shit, this thing, yo, damn. I noticed it as soon as you saw a fucking like character's face. Jesus. It looks sharper. It does like this image of kid looks a little bit sharper. And you can tell too by the way the skin textures are. They're a little bit more smooth. Because that's what happens with AI upscalers. They smooth out lines and creases and shit. Now, let's go ahead and uh, activate this cutscene. This is the closest one that, I, that I'm near, that I know of, and we can see the difference between it live. That looks dramatically better. It's not fuzzy like it was before. He still got that goofy smile. This actually looks pretty clean. And now I'm gonna put them side by side in in a post so you guys can see. But before it was like really pixely and blocky. Now it's a lot more smoother. The background is a little pixely, but the character models are completely smoothed out in CGI. But yeah, the AI upscaler looks pretty solid, guys. I highly, highly recommend you install it. 7-Zip seems to be the easiest way to install it and also be able to arc, uh, configure the archive and delete the old files and add in the new. And now we're going to install the FPS mod and see how that works out. This is the ISA FPS hack created by Kid N. You just need to download the patcher. So what you're going to want to do, chat, is now when you click on the ISA FPS hack, click on it, open it up select the file so what we're gonna do is we're gonna locate we're gonna locate chrono cross which is in our d drive steam library steam apps common chrono cross and here's the game right here it does say to click on 
and apply to the runacross.exe file. So we're gonna do that. All right, the file has been selected. Give it a second. Okay, it says right here, file has been selected. Now we're gonna hit patch. Operation has been completed. Not a bad, like, these mods are not that hard to install. Let's see, one place that I always lag is the Hydro Marshes. So let's go over here and see if it did anything to that. Wow. Wow. Are you kidding me right now? Bruh, no fucking way. No fucking way. Are you kidding? Yo, look at this. Chat. We always, always lag when the camera moves and then when we come here. This is nuts. Let's get into a fight. Holy shit. The button inputs feel much better too. Yo, look at that. It just, it kind of went up a little bit above 30 right there. Let's do, uh, let's do dash and slash. Damn, man. <laughs> it tried to go 60 frames right there. It is way smoother, bro. Holy shit. Yo, shout outs to Kid and 7 This mod is absolutely, this is a game changer. This is, <laughs> this is a must install right now i am so sorry for people that are playing this on console because holy shit this piece the pc version is i cannot explain to you guys how great this feels i know you guys are seeing it firsthand right now but like before, normally we are dropping to like 10 frames here but this is just fucking wicked bro oh shit <laughs> yo you saw that 60 yo you saw that 60 frame intro right there that was that was that was clean that was really clean yo look at the combat chat i'm not gonna be i am not gonna be shutting up about this this looks absolutely amazing bang oh my god Bro, this this uh screen is amazing. Damn it, bro. I just got it all fucking threed out. What mod is fixing the FPS? Uh ISA mod on Nexus mods. I made a I recorded a video installing it for this stream. So we're gonna be posting it uh later. Uh, I don't know. I'll be editing it later. I don't know if I'll be done with it today. Uh Dude, this looks so sick, man. Damn, chat. Oh, my God. <laughs> Yo, he just fucking... <laughs> what was that attack, bro? That was a fucking... That was an absolute shad of an attack, bro. What the fuck? Slash probably would have been stronger. I don't know why I did that. Bro, it looks insane, right, Phil? I'm gonna post the video tomorrow on how to install it because it this is absolutely insane. This is the first step in the right direction towards getting us to 60 frames on this game. Holy shit, I am blown away right now, guys. Imagine a AAA company not being able to do this. Yo, shout outs to those modders, man. They did a fantastic job. Getting this game to a consistent 30 frames is amazing. Pretty soon we'll be at 60 though, and I can't wait to see that. And I'm excited to be playing more just now. Be sure to like the video if you enjoyed and subscribe if you are new. More Chrono Cross mod videos and RPG news is coming your way and you don't want to miss them. My name is Blitz and thanks for watching.